Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be talking about the tower sign and whether or not it's a good sign. Now, if you want to support me, check the description, buy a monitor stand off Amazon, it helps out a lot. Now, with this tower sign, lots of times I'll do a little bit of extra research on stuff, you know, out of the ordinary stuff like the tower sign, which I don't use at all, I'll I'll just kind of check and check on the wiki, make sure I got all my information right. Because I mix up sign abilities all the time. Like the lady and the serpent, I mix up. Sometimes I mix up the ritual, the, sh the shadow, and the tower, and the lord, all at the same time. Generally speaking, I'll mix them up. So I have some pretty interesting thoughts on this. Now, what this thing does is it gives you two abilities. One is open to average lock. That's what the tower does. You get to open an average lock. Pretty useless in my opinion. Opening locks is the most useless spell you can ever have. And the other one is the Tower Warden, which is a reflect damage spell. And this is actually where it gets interesting. So first of all, the unlock, useless. For, you, you have skeleton keys, you find enough lock picks. If you're good enough at lock picking, it really doesn't matter. So we're not going to focus on the unlocking part. What's interesting is the reflect damage part. Now, this is, I guess, according to the wiki, unless you have Shivering Isles, it's the only way to get a reflect damage spell. Apparently, according to the wiki. Now, I have not seen a reflect damage spell ever. So... This is where it gets interesting. If you are familiar with spell making, you would know that reflect damage, you have to have that spell learned before you make a spell or an enchantment. So this is the only way, according to the wiki, unless you have Shivering Isles, which I don't even know about Shivering Isles, I don't even know what's in there, to be able to use reflect damage on things. This is where this sign gets interesting. And like I said, I'm pretty sure I haven't seen reflect damage spells. I could be wrong. I don't, when I'm purchasing spells, I know what the symbol looks like and I don't see the symbol. I mix it up with um, detect life and dispel because they look similar. So, Here's what, it, here's what it basically comes down to. While the sign doesn't increase attributes, or it doesn't increase skills, and it gives you two pretty crappy spells in my opinion, it allows you access to put on reflect damage to things and create your own reflect damage spell. So this is a gateway to make yourself the most powerful reflect damage spell in the world. Now if you don't know what reflect damage does, it's not like Protect where it lessens the amount of damage you take. If I have, let's just say, Reflect Damage 10%, that means if someone hits me, every 10 damage that they give me, they also receive 1 damage. So if a guy hits me for 100 damage, he's going to take 10 if I have 10% Reflect Damage, which can be very, very useful against tougher opponents. Maybe you're fighting a mage. Now, this is where Reflect Spell comes in. We're going to use Reflect Spell. If you're fighting a mage, the mages always cast Protect. They're going to have all that spell damage come back on them. Now, when it comes to Reflect Damage, if you have maybe an archer, or you just have a mage using a dagger, or even a really tough marauder, it could be beneficial to either enchant some armor with reflect damage or just cast it on yourself. Very powerful. If you cast, let's just say a 50%, I don't even know how high you can make the spell. I'm just going to say 50%. 50% reflect damage and then they, they start taking extra damage. You could block. Blocking and armor doesn't even reduce how much damage they take. So you can just tank people blocking them and it adds a lot to your block it gives your block some extra damage that it deals so keep that in mind when it comes to using the tower sign it gives you access to create reflect damage 
That's the only good thing it does. And I guess reflect damage in the beginning. But that's it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed, you can tell me in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new for more Oblivion videos. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games, and I will see you in the next episode, stream, or vlog of whatever I decide to make.